Hey you guys, it's Lauren. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking all about my winter skincare routine. And I could not be more excited today because today is a collab with two amazing ladies here on YouTube. The first one being Melanie from Mr. Khan's Mom. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've been following her forever now. I could just listen to her talk about skincare all day long. She's just so knowledgeable and I just love how she really delves into the ingredient list. And she's like my go-to person for a Paula's Choice product. It seems like she's tried like everything from her line. And she does a ton of makeup reviews. And she's just a joy to watch. She, I don't know how she does it, but she doesn't make any cuts or edits in most of her videos. She's just such a natural when she speaks. And she's just really fun to watch. And I think you guys would really enjoy her. And then there's Penny from Pensmith Skincare, which I'm sure a lot of you have discovered already by now. She has a really quickly growing channel. And I can see why. She's a certified esthetician. So she's another one that's super knowledgeable when it comes to products, especially skincare. She talks about affordable skincare and high-end skincare. And she really goes into like the actives and ingredients and talks about how they work. And she's another one that is a joy to watch for me. But she's going to be my new go-to for when I have skincare questions because she really just knows her stuff and gives great advice. So definitely follow her. She's amazing. And both of those ladies will also be sharing their winter skincare routine. So check their videos out. I'll link them down below. But we'll go ahead and dive right into my routine. I have a lot of products here, so bear with me. But this is not to say that you need to use all these products. I'm going to go through and tell you guys how I pick and choose depending on how my skin is behaving. But honestly, I feel like when it comes to a good skincare routine, all you really need is a good non-stripping cleanser and a really good moisturizer. I think there are the two biggest key, key components of any routine. So just wanted to put that out there and yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. Before we dive into my routine, I should let you guys know about my skin type. So generally I'm more on the drier side, but I can have an oily T-zone pop up here and there. But mostly I have like dry, tight skin with some flaky areas. And now that I'm 34, I'm entering my mid-30s, I try and keep my skincare routine focused more on anti-aging. I want to really keep the hydration in, and I'm trying to focus my skincare routine on preventing further signs of aging and then treating the signs of aging that I already have. And I have a lot of hyperpigmentation or sunspots, so I really try and focus my routine on brightening the skin, evening everything out, and just smoothing the skin. When it comes to my nighttime routine, the first thing I reach for is a cleanser. I kind of rotate between two. Right now, I'm using the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. This is their Pure Skin Antioxidant Booster Cleanser. And I love this because it's super creamy, so it really keeps hydration in. It doesn't strip my skin, and it really just does the job. It removes all my makeup. The only thing about this, this burns my eyes so bad. So I can't really use this for removing eye makeup, but it does a great job for removing my whole like face of foundation and the rest of my makeup. And it really just does the job, gets my face clean, and just keeps everything hydrated. So I just love that this doesn't strip my skin and it's super hydrating. And then on the nights when my face isn't feeling so dry, if I just want almost like a light cleanse, if I didn't wear a lot of makeup that day, I've been loving this Indie Lee Brightening Cleanser. This is amazing. So first of all, this has strawberry oil on it. So it has a really nice, light, natural, sweet fragrance, which I really love. It's just really refreshing on the face. And strawberry oil actually naturally contains vitamin C. So this is gonna add some brightening components to your skin. Now granted, you're putting it on your skin and you're washing it right off, so you're not gonna get like life-changing brightening and you know it's not going to relieve all your hyperpigmentation but I can appreciate that there's some extra actives in here that, so even though it's not going to make you know dramatic results in my skin I just appreciate that it has good for your skin ingredients in it and it really just does the job it's nice and lightweight and yeah I just I'm really been liking this cleanser and I got this cleanser through Hello Ava. Hello Ava is an amazing personalized skincare company that has these awesome brands that we all know and love like Drunk Elephant, Kate Somerville, Herbivore, they have a ton of different brands and I have a code for them for 30% off. So if you're interested in trying them out, I'll link them down below. But yeah, I wanted to fill you guys in on that because I just feel like it's so rare that you can get such a huge discount on these amazing high-end brands. So yeah, definitely check them out. I'll leave them down below. And then next up, I reach for a cleansing balm on the nights when I'm wearing heavier makeup or if I feel like I just have some makeup remnants left behind. Sometimes if I use that First Aid Beauty Cleanser, I will use this for even just around my eyes. But this is the Sunday Riley Blue Moon Cleansing Balm. And this is amazing. So this is 
a blue bomb, and it's blue because it contains blue tansy. And I actually just learned from Penn, from Penn Smith Skincare, that blue tansy is really amazing for your skin. It's actually a Moroccan chamomile, so it's an antioxidant, and it's really great for calming the skin and calming any redness. So it's really soothing. It's a great like end of the night routine. It smells really good. Um, so yeah, it just feels so great on the skin. And it's a soft bomb, and it turns to a gel on the face. And it has almost like a soft grit to it. It doesn't feel harsh on the face at all, but just enough grit where you feel like it's really getting deep into your pores. And my face is just always super soft after I use this and I have like no makeup left behind. But yeah, I've just been loving this balm. I just feel like it's so nice and gentle. It feels great at the end of the night and I just love the way it makes my skin feel. So loving that balm. And then I reach for a toner. So this is new to my skincare routine. This is the Kate Somerville Clarifying Treatment Toner. This is the first Kate Somerville product I've tried and I was super impressed immediately after I tried it. So this has lactic acid in here and phytic acid, which I actually just learned that phytic acid is a rice enzyme that helps chemically exfoliate your skin and makes your skin super soft. And I really feel like from the short time I've been using this, like maybe, maybe three weeks ago, I really feel like my skin is just smoother and my skin tone is just a little bit more even and everything just seems brighter. And it just, it feels so great and refreshing on the skin. It has a slight sting to it, so it does tingle, but I appreciate the tingle. I like that tingle because I feel like it's actually working. But yeah, this is just a great toner. And I love the packaging. You just push your cotton ball down and you're gonna get the exact right amount of product. You're not gonna waste any product. So I love the packaging. I love the ingredients of this. And another reason I love this, so it has those amazing actives in here, but it's also alcohol-free, oil-free, and fragrance-free. So it's gonna do the job, but it's not gonna irritate your skin. So I really appreciate that. It has really great for your skin ingredients in here and love the packaging and I just love the way it makes my skin feel just smooth and refreshed. So love that toner. You guys, I'm so sorry about my frog voice. I just cannot shake this cold right now. So I'm sorry if I sound like a frog, but I can't help it. Okay, so next up I reach for a serum. So there's two that I kind of rotate between. I reach for a Good Jeans, the lactic acid treatment, maybe like three to four times a week. But I love this for when my skin is just feeling dull and it needs a pick me up. This is like a facial in a bottle. I know it's expensive, but I really feel like it's worth it. I pick one of these up every year during the VIB sale. I really feel like it lasts a long time, it does the job, and it's just so great. It's the one product that I've used that actually made visible changes in my skin like instantly after I used it. The first time I used this, I remember looking into the mirror and thinking like, oh my God, my skin looks instantly smoother and bright. Like, how is that possible? But it really does. Like I said, it's a facial in the bottle. It does great things for your skin. It just really evens everything out. And yeah, I've been loving this. I have a video where I compared this to the Ordinary Lactic Acid. That actually also does a great job. It's a great dupe for this product. So I'll link that down below. And speaking of the Ordinary, when I'm not using good jeans, I'll rotate with my hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. I reach for this when I just want some extra hydration. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant that's gonna hold in moisture in your skin and just to keep your skin plump and smooth. And this does a great job. I just feel like when I use this, I really feel like my skin just feels tighter and lifted in the morning, if that, that's possible. But yeah, it just feels so hydrated. I have to admit, when I first used this, I wasn't a big fan. I am all about texture with a product. And this just felt instantly tacky on my face. So you have to give it a little bit to sink in. Like all night when I use this, I just kind of almost want to wash it off. But it's worth it because the next morning it does sink in and your skin just feels like nice and smooth. So love this product. One of my favorites. And on the nights my skin is feeling super dry, I reach for a facial oil. I've been rotating between two of them. The first one is the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. This contains rose hip seed oil. There's a ton of buzz around rose hip seed oil in the anti-aging market. It does great things for anti-aging benefits and plumping out the skin. I've really been liking this. Now, when I first used this, I was not a fan. I actually put this aside for a while because I really felt like it broke me out and it was just too heavy for my skin. But I have rediscovered this recently and I've been using this as an under eye facial oil. It just does such a great job with smoothing out the under eye. I wake up and my skin just feels like smooth, not creepy. My concealer sits really nicely on the skin. It just packs the hydration in. It's just so good. And I also use it for dry patches. 
So I don't like to use it all over my face. Like I said, I do feel like it did break me out. But if I'm feeling extra flaky in certain areas, I'll just pat a little bit and it's enough to do the job and take away any texture. If you're super dry, you might like this all over the face, but it's great as a spot treatment for me and underneath the eyes. And then on the nights when I just want some extra hydration right before my moisturizer, I've been loving the Drunk Elephant Marola Oil. This is so good. It's heavy, it does the job, but it sinks into your skin really quickly and it feels lightweight. It's never broken me out. I even feel like this would be good for people with oily skin because of how lightweight it is. It's just so good and it just sinks in nicely and yeah, I've been loving this. And then my moisturizer that I've been obsessing over, this is the Biosyn Squalene and Omega Repair Cream. This is newer to the Biosyn's line, but this is just amazing. It's such a great moisturizer. I really have seen a big difference in my skin since I've started using this. I picked this up over the summer, maybe August or September, and you can see I've made a big dent in here. I need another one actually, but this just plumps the skin, it smooths everything out, it makes my skin just feel like super soft and supple, it's just, it's so good. But I picked this up because I wanted to incorporate squalene into my skincare routine. Squalene is actually a natural component of your skin that you tend to lose as you age and it helps with the elasticity and the bounciness of your skin. But yeah, squalene is huge right now. It went away for a while. It actually used to be derived from shark liver. I know, sounds super crazy. But now it's plant derived, so you can get it naturally and it's more naturally available. So yeah, it's just, I've been loving this ingredient and I'm happy to have this. The only thing with this, I must say, it stinks so bad. Like it almost smells like, I don't even know, like, like rubber tires or something. It just, it smells so bad. I don't know if that's the squalene ingredient in here or what. This is the first squalene product I've tried, so that could be it. But if you can get past the smell, this does amazing things for your skin. But you know what? I can appreciate a fragrance-free product because you really don't need all those extra artificial fragrances in your skincare. So that like helps me get past this obnoxious smell, but just be prepared. It doesn't smell great, but it's a great product. So just wanted to put that out there. Okay, so let's get on to my AM routine. So I really don't do so much in the morning. Honestly, I don't really wash my face in the morning. I usually just do it at night. I'll either just splash my face with cold water or I'll reach for this Claire's Supple Preparation Unscented Toner. This has been like my go-to recently. This is unlike anything I've ever tried, but this is an unscented toner that almost has I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it has like a gel-like consistency and it just feels so fresh and hydrating on the skin. It absorbs really quickly. It just like packs on the hydration. It makes your skin super smooth and soft and my skin just feels so moisturized and refreshed after using this. This is just so good. And I love this for the morning because it almost doubles as my cellar water. So if I have any like remnants of makeup underneath my eyes, I'll put a little bit of this on a cotton pad. Put this underneath my eyes and it takes away any makeup and it smooths my under eye and it's just such a great toner it's so good claire's is a korean skincare company that's cruelty free they have a lot of amazing products but this is one of my favorite by them and yeah definitely check this out this is great and then i follow up with a vitamin c serum so right now because my skin is on the drier side with the winter weather i've been reaching for the drunk elephant c firm a day serum i've raved about this before the one product I can compare this most to as far as the results go is good jeans. Like it honestly like tightens everything up, it makes my skin bright and smooth and just glowy. It just does amazing things for your skin. Vitamin C is great to use during the day because you're just going to get that extra benefit from the antioxidant because it's going to help protect your skin from pollutants, from sun exposure. It just does great things for your skin and yeah, it's one of my favorite ingredients. I love this. Now this is super heavy. I feel like it might be a little too heavy for those of you with oily skin. If you're more on the oily side, you would love the May Love the Glow Maker Serum. This is a company out of San Francisco and they are like newer to the market. They don't have a lot of products, but the products they do have are amazing with great ingredients. This is the closest product I've found to the Drunk Elephant because it has the same ingredients, it has the same percentage of L-sorbic acid, it's also balanced out with the ferulic acid, which you need for the potency and the 
almost life expectancy or shelf life of the vitamin C. So they really formulated this well and it just, it does really great things. It's much more lightweight than the drunk elephant. So if you have oily skin, definitely go for that. And then for those mornings where I'm feeling extra tired and I just need some to puffing underneath my eyes and some brightness, I've been loving this First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy Under Eye Cream. This is so good. I used to use this a long time back. I, for, I kind of forgot about it, I guess. I don't know, I didn't repurchase it. And then I saw it available on Octoly's free store and I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, I have to pick that up. I forgot how good that stuff was. And yes, it's just as good as I remembered. It does great with depuffing the under eye. This has caffeine in it, so that's gonna help decrease any swelling underneath your eyes. And I love the shade of it. So I have the fair medium shade and it has a peachy undertone, so it corrects any blueness underneath your eyes and it just brightens my under eyes so well and it really sits nicely under concealer. And the applicator is really nice. So on the white side, you have a little hole where the product comes out and then you tap the product in with the silver side and the metal on this feels so cooling. It's amazing. It almost feels like I stuck it in the refrigerator. I don't know what element or material they put in this metal, but it feels so good underneath the eye and it just does a great job like relieving any swelling and I just feel like it opens up my eyes and this stuff is great. Definitely an old favorite that I forgot about, so I'm glad I have it back in my hands. It's so good, so I'm loving that. And then recently my go-to day cream has been this one by Pure Cosmetics. This is the 4-in-1 Cloud Cream, and it is just like it sounds. It is like a cloud of moisture going on your skin, but it's super lightweight and it just packs a punch. It's a gel to water essence moisturizer, and it's just that. It goes on like a gel, it sinks into your skin it really easily, it absorbs nicely, and I guess it essentially is like an essence because it doesn't, it absorbs so quickly and it doesn't allow for any pilling underneath your skin. So I can put foundation on almost immediately after, and it works great as a primer because you don't get any flaking or anything like that, and it just keeps my skin nicely moisturized throughout the day and it takes away any flakiness and relieves any dryness. So it's just a great moisturizer, a great lightweight moisturizer. If you have oily skin, I feel like this would be great too because it's so lightweight. Okay, and then we'll go through masks and then we'll get into lip products. So my masks that I rotate throughout the week, I only use them maybe once or twice a week. So the first one I've been loving is by Drunk Elephant. This is the TLC Sakori Baby Facial. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is, well, first of all, it burns like hell. <laughs> Just be prepared. The first time I applied it immediately, I'm like, ow, oh my God, that hurts, that hurts but give it like a couple minutes and the stinging kind of subsides and it just, once you wash it off, it is just so rewarding. And I'm the kind of person, I kind of enjoy the tingle and the sting, like I feel like it's actually doing something. And it never leaves my skin red or irritated. So even though it feels really strong, it just does a good job with somehow soothing my skin while exfoliating at the same time. But this has a whopping 25% AHA and a 2% BHA blend. So it has so many great exfoliators in here and it really just takes away all your dead skin cells. I, and the first time I used this, I immediately saw brightening. I have this little sunspot. I feel like I always talk about him. He's right here underneath my eye. I don't know if you can see him because I have makeup on, but it's probably the darkest pigmented area on my face and I immediately saw lightning right there, so I can tell it's really making a difference. It's a little strong for me to use more than once a week, but it's great when I want some extra exfoliating, extra brightening, and it just smooths everything out. My skin really just feels plump and bouncy, baby soft, just like the name entails. So yeah, this is great, I love this stuff. And then another mask I love is by Glow Recipe. This is the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. I reach for this one when I just want some extra moisture and hydration. I like this because I also get the exfoliation from this, but it's a little more gentle. So this has hyaluronic acid in it, it has the glycolic and the lactic acid. So it kind of, you're getting a two for one with this, you're getting exfoliation and the moisture. So I love that. And this, you can leave it on your skin for 10 minutes or you can use it as a sleeping mask and you wash it off your face in the morning and your skin is just left feeling bright and smooth and it just takes away any dead skin on your face and your skin really does feel brighter and it's great for when your skin is feeling dull. So I love this stuff. And then for lip products, so I usually go for a heavy lip mask at night and I've been loving combining these two. The first one is by Cosmetics. This is their Enhanced Lip Plumping Mask. This is a newer product to their line, and if you're not familiar with cosmetics, they're a medical grade skincare company, but this is the first thing I've tried by them. But I saw this available on Octoly, and anytime I see a lip treatment, I'm just a sucker for a lip balm, a lip mask. 
I jumped on it and I really do like it. It has great ingredients in here. It has peptides, so you really get good like anti-agers for your lips in here. It smooths everything out and it really keeps my lips moisturized. It's kind of thin though, so I feel like I need something on top of it to kind of pack everything into my lips. So I love putting this on first and then layering it with my Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. This is super heavy duty, but this takes away any flaking, any peeling almost immediately. This is just so good, but it's definitely a lot heavier than this guy. This really doesn't relieve the flaking and the peeling, so I love layering it with this and I always just wake up with like pillowy soft lips. I love this combo and yeah, these are great. That is it. That concludes my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for being here. Go check out Penny and Melanie's channel. You guys will love them. If you guys came from their channels, thank you for being here. I'd love to have you guys here. I'd love it if you subscribe. I love chatting about all things skincare, beauty products. Leave your current faves down below. I'd love to hear what your routine is and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys.